Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this week's Tip of the Week. You might be surprised to see a new face. My name is John, and I am Chief Marketing Officer here at PaveTool. There are many ways that you can market your company for continued growth and success. My hope is that this video gets you guys to reflect on the marketing within your own company and can also help improve on your marketing efforts. So the biggest tip that I can offer when marketing is that you must know your audience. You must cater your content to the audience's interests and desires. Now, it's important to remain authentic, but always keep in mind who you're speaking to. Here at PaveTool, our audience is landscape, hardscape contractors, and business owners. And this video is for you guys. Now, we all know and probably use social media. Whether we like it or not, it's here to stay. So we might as well use it to our advantage. Here at PaveTool, we use Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Today, we're gonna to focus on Instagram. We've noticed that there's actually a common theme among successful business pages on Instagram. This common theme that we can see on all of these successful pages is actually that they market their company's culture. So what are some ways that your company can market its culture through social media? Well, we found three common ways that businesses show off their culture. This is through education, professionalism, and personality. So let's first take a look at education. We can look at our own page when it comes to education. Yes, we're a tool company, but we come from the roots of a landscaping and hardscaping business. So I noticed a lot of you guys love to post what you're doing on the job to some cool music. Now that's great, but here's an idea. When you make these posts, rather than just throw some music behind it, why not take the opportunity to speak into what it is that you're doing on Mrs. Jones's property. Now keep in mind your audience, who you're trying to sell to, is most likely a homeowner. So why would Mrs. Jones care about the base that you're laying down or that edge restraint that you're installing? When posting about what you're doing in their backyard, these are opportunities to speak directly to the homeowner who's checking out your Instagram page. Take these moments to explain that what you're doing is going to prevent the job from failing, or it, it will ensure that you're not gonna flood Mrs. Jones's basement, or maybe it's increasing the longevity of the patio, whatever it is, this will build trust in your clients and future clients. So that sort of sums up education. If that's not your style, let's take a look at professionalism. So we're gonna look at Baylor Brothers' Instagram page they are a great example of professionalism. We look at their page, we see a nice, clean, finished look. Mrs. Jones is gonna love that. Also notice that there are no videos on their page where they're dry cutting and throwing dust all over the side of Mrs. Jones's house. There's no dirty job sites. There's a lot of respect for the homeowner's property, and this echoes throughout their page. Now, let's check out Distinctive Tree Care. They do a really good job at showing safety and best practices on their jobs. They show how they use the latest technology and constantly maintain their vehicles to ensure their workers' safety. Ask yourself this, when your audience watches the post that you're putting up, how are they going to react? How are they going to feel when they watch your post? So professionalism, definitely something you wanna keep in mind. If that's kinda your company's culture, Leverage that. Mrs. Jones is gonna love that. So, let's look at finally, personality. A great example is this company, Mainstream. Let's take a look at one of his videos. What's up, y'all? We're back, happy 2024. We're doing a pathway. We did this previously. Dun, da, da, dun. We're breaking out more concrete here. And then if you come over here, follow the stairs. We're doing a pathway that way. So stay tuned, stay Gucci. It's a small one, but it's a good start and we're off to it. So stay up, not down, keep grinding. It's to Mainstream Landscape, quality company, company choice. Peace. This is a positive guy. You can clearly tell that he loves his work and it definitely reflects into how he runs his business. These are the kind of people that will work rain or shine, night or day, with a smile on their face because they love what they do. And when you love your work, that's when you do your best work. Mrs. Jones is gonna be able to see that the moment she goes to a page like this, and she's gonna eat that up. If you love the work that you do, then she's gonna love the work. 
And that's just a little bit on personality. I don't want to talk too much on it because personality is something that's very respective to you as an individual. So if you feel that you've got a personality for camera and you want to show off that aspect of your company's culture, then I say do it. So let's wrap up. It's important to market your company's culture. Doing this is going to build trust with your clientele. This should be your goal. Speaking of building trust, here's an idea. You can use your social media as a network expansion tool. When selling to the homeowner, show them your page. Tell them that you'll be posting updates as you complete their project and their family and friends can follow along as you build their dream. This will drive follows to your page and expand your potential clientele. I leave you with one final question to ask yourself. When Mrs. Jones goes to your page, will they be able to quickly gather what kind of service they will receive from your company? Remember, your social media is a tool to market your company. Thanks for joining me to talk about some marketing. I hope you learned something. You can check us out on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and also check us out on pavetool.com. Thanks for watching.